Hi, I just want to take a couple of minutes to talk about what I consider to be quite an important technology, which is high flex rooms and possibly about hybrid teaching, which I have a specific meaning for hybrid here because it is a vague word. And we'll just talk about that in a minute. Uh, you could argue here, what is the objective of a high flex room? Well, the Objective is to be able to teach students in front of you, local students, and students who are at a distance remotely, largely without changing your style of teaching. So it's just like they're all in the classroom in front of you. And that's inclusive because people are not excluded because of their geography, because they're too far away or because they have a disability or something like that. But also very importantly, it's flexible. A lot of people live unpredictable lives. Sometimes they come, come to class, sometimes they can't. Maybe they have the time and they can listen in live or maybe they don't have, aren't available that time and want to listen into recording. So it becomes extremely flexible for the students. Now, here's a list of equipment that you would typically have in a high flex room. Probably an expensive part of it is that you would have screens maybe at the back of the classroom behind the students that are sitting there in front of you and which different students are on each screen. But it's they're big enough for you to see the faces of the students on those screens. It does require special software to uh, get that to work on those screens and to get the system to work in general. You would have very high quality speakers in the room so the students in the room can hear clearly remote students speaking. Uh, you would have room cameras so the remote people could see the room, maybe see the teacher and maybe even see the, the class, the other students in the class separately. Um, you would have top quality microphones. Now it's quite difficult to pick up uh, a student speaking in the class so you'd want very good quality, possibly in the ceiling uh, microphones uh, to pick up the sound from the room so that the remote students can hear just as well as the local students. You have various tools that allow you to be as spontaneous as you can be in a regular classroom. So you might have a touch screen that you can use to write on, you might have a, a document camera uh, pointing down at a piece of paper so that you can be spontaneous and write, or you might even have a camera onto a chalkboard where you can draw and that can be seen clearly by their local students and their remote students. By the way, I deliberately said chalkboard here is about the whiteboard because actual fact, chalkboards having less reflectivity work better under a camera than a whiteboard. Um, so what are the issues with high flex rooms? Well, it's quite ex moderately expensive to kit out. Given that computer, a lot of computer equipment is very cheap nowadays, this is probably a little bit more expensive. That does give us concerns over reliability if you have a lot of uh, equipment in a classroom, particularly if it's a classroom that's widely accessible where pieces of equipment can go missing, cables can be pulled out. So there is a question over the ease of operation. In one way, the objective of a high flex room is to allow a lecturer to teach in the same way they've always taught. So they don't have to go learning new ways of teaching. But having said that, if you have this bunch of technology in the room, it probably requires them uh, to, to gain skills in using that technology. Or it may require you to have a sports staff member available during classes, all which drives up the expense. Now, I think there are alternative ways of teaching uh, local students and the remote students in the same class. And I often refer to this as flipped learning online, where both groups of students can watch videos and then come into a, a classroom for a live session. And you may have separate live sessions for the online and the, and the local students. It's beyond the scope of this to talk about that, but I think there are other cheaper ways to do it. Um, so I will leave that at that and say thank you very much.